Hey, what's up, comic book culture? It's your boy C B M in the house and the place to be. And welcome back to my comic book channel, Indie Key Comic Books and Collectibles, where we collect, invest, and review anything and everything comic book related. Now, before we start off this video, I have something I want to say today. First of all, I want to say I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I truly mean that. Um, I can't explain how happy and how proud I am of this channel. And um, I want to give a special thank you to all the subscribers caring about this channel, showing this channel some love and positivity, and most of all, supporting it. I can't express and explain enough how much that means to me. With all that said, please click like, subscribe, leave a comment down below because I love reading your comments and I love replying back to each and every single comment. And hit that notification bell because now that the holidays are over, I'm back on my grind and you're going to be seeing comic book videos on a daily. With all that said, let's just jump into this video and get this new year popping. I've got a few packages that came in way before the holidays. I'm talking about, I think these packages came in like mid-October. And then of course Halloween came, my son's birthday came, Thanksgiving came, Christmas came, New Year's came, I caught COVID, and it's just been impossible to get to making videos, much less unboxing new comic books. All the time to do things like go into the comic book store or even shopping on eBay. So I'm really excited about this unboxing and really happy to do this video. Let's get to this first unboxing of the new year. And making his first appearance of the new year, the hand, the Dan, the box cutter. And let me get out my packages. The four packages here that we've got to unbox today. And it will be for me as much of a surprise as it will be for you. Because I honestly do not know what's in these boxes any longer. And as I'm opening them up and unboxing them, I'll check what I paid for these books about two or three months ago versus what they're worth now on eBay. Okay, so package number one. Can't wait to see what's in this box. And I got my handy dandy box cutter here that is sharpened like a Ginsu. And anytime you're opening a package, you wanna be careful possibly slice that book we all know we don't want that to happen okay and over here oh I completely forgot about this this is a good one to start the show off with it just made that huge announcement for the new Indiana Jones that's coming out it'll be the final movie for the franchise and this is how the book would have presented back in the mid 80s when it first came out, this would have probably been hanging in some pharmacy or maybe some sort of corner store or like a bodega or like a newsstand. And it would probably be hanging there like this. And this poly bag pack contains three comics, Raiders of the Lost Ark issues one, two, and three. And I love having them in the poly bag because it brings back that whole feeling of nostalgia of when you were a kid and this is how, how I seen the books. I just love owning these books in these poly bags and just, just looking at them really just brings back that feeling of nostalgia seeing them in the original package. Now there is one thing that I don't like about getting these comic books in the plastic poly bag and that's why I always end up buying raw copies that have been taken out of the original poly bag because when you go get them CGC graded Sometimes the poly bag, due to aging, will leave some sort of chemical, like plastic residue on it. And if you don't have a good cleaner and presser, it's really hard to get that off. And um, it will affect the grade of your book. And it's hard to describe, but it feels like some sort of like maybe sticky dust or residue on the cover of your comic. So as much as I love having them in this original plastic poly bag, just being able to see it after all these years in the original poly bag and seeing how it looks after all these years and getting that feeling of nostalgia of seeing it in the original packaging. It's worth it to me to buy it in the poly bag and also, like I said, raw. 
Like, you know, someone that took it out immediately and then put it in a bag and board. But I'm really glad to have this set because I'm trying to complete any sort of Indiana Jones comic book series. Like the Adventures of Indiana Jones or this Raiders of the Lost Ark or anything else that's Indiana Jones comic book related. Like, already have his first appearance. So I'm just collecting anything and everything Indiana Jones related figures. You know, because as much as I love Harrison Ford, he looks like he's getting up there in age. And none of us are immortal. Nothing lasts forever as much as I love Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones and all the other movie characters that he's brought to life throughout my childhood. I can't explain how much I love Harrison Ford and the characters that he brought to life that influenced my childhood. And Indiana Jones is one of them. And I can't explain how happy I am to finally have this in my collection. I mean, I've been thinking about this poly bag, three pack of comics since I was like 12. And I've been wanting to get my hands on them for the longest. I don't know why it took me up until now to finally get them. Like I should have been having these in my collection. I should have been having a complete run of the Indiana Jones Adventure series. But uh, I can't explain how happy I am to finally have this in my collection and you know, start building up that Indiana Jones collection because like I said, you know, he's brought so many like good memories, like great memories in my childhood that um, I just want to have these for the long haul. I want to have these in my collection. I want to be able to read them. I want to be able to open up the books and smell them. I want to be able to pass them on to my kids so he could read the adventures of Indiana Jones and um, love them as much as I did. So with that said, let's take one more look. This is Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark in the original plastic poly bag. This is how it would have presented back in the 1980s. All right, so let's see how much did I pay for this three pack. Okay, it looks like I bought this way back in September 4th, but um, I got it for $20, free shipping. And I think that's a good price if you wanna invest in these comics because like I said, Harrison Ford isn't going to live forever. And the second something happens to him, God forbid, I don't want to say that or think that. These books are going to go through the roof. They're going to skyrocket. And I'm never going to be able to get my hands on them. So I think getting them for $20 was a great, excellent price for the investment. Because I think in the future, it's going to be worth way more than that. And let's see what it's going for now on eBay. Okay, so right off the bat, here is someone selling Raiders of the Lost Ark, issues 1, 2, and 3, sealed in the poly bag, $69 or best offer. Here is another person with them sealed in the poly bag, $80 or best offer. Here's a third one, $99 or best offer. So if you would have jumped on this book back in September when it was a safe investment, you would have probably invested $20 and now the books in the poly bag are worth about $100. So it would have been a great small investment and a safe investment with a great payout. And that's why I always try to explain to people like you don't have to just invest in DC and Marvel comics to make money off of comic books, to make money off of flipping books. You don't have to just invest in DC and Marvel keys to boost the value of your comic book collection. There's a lot of indie comic books and there's a lot of older silver and bronze age comic books that you can buy on the cheap if you're speculating on the correct books that have a huge payout. This is not the peak for this book. A hundred bucks is not the peak for this three pack poly bag. I, I believe when that movie, that final movie for that franchise comes out that has Harrison Ford in it, Anything Indiana Jones, especially comic books, are just going to skyrocket and go through the roof. It's, it's going to be heading towards like outer space. So I really heavily suggest picking up any comic books Indiana Jones related, especially his first appearance, especially the um, Raiders of the Lost Ark, sealed in the plastic poly bag and backup copies of issues one, two, and three, just in case the comic books in the plastic poly bag, picked up any kind of chemical 
plastic residue on those covers. Anytime you buy anything in the plastic poly bags, you want to make sure you have backup copies of those issues. With that said, let's move on to the next package. Oh my God. This one is really heavy and really sturdy. It looks like it was very well packaged. Wow, this guy did a great job with the packaging. Shout out to the seller. Did a great job with that. And I have no clue what's in here. Can't wait to see what's in here. I feel like it's Christmas again. Talking about Christmas, I had a huge Christmas wish list. Fantastic Four issue 66 and 67 was on there. Thor 165 and 166 was on it. Marvel Premiere issue 1. Power of Warlock issue 1. Strange Tales issue 178. Adam Warlock and the Infinity Watch. Adam Warlock Chronicles. All of those books were on my wish list. You know why. You know about Guardians of the Galaxy 3 coming up. And you know what's gonna about to happen in Phase 5. It's going to be an explosion of awesomeness. And I'm just getting ready for it. I'm going to be making a future video and find out if I got those books on my wish list. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh. Wow, I forgot about this. Love the artwork that just like smacked me right in the face as soon as I seen it. Okay. A little too tight here. But this is the complete collection for Anne Weiss's interview with the vampire. Here is issue one. That artwork is just stunning. It looks amazing. Really love that artwork. Here's issue two. Now, I've got to say, I have not been able to start on that show because I've been so busy with the holidays and stuff. And also, I just have had a lot of shows to watch. I mean, I had to finish up House of Dragons, Ring of Powers, the Werewolf by Night Halloween special, that really fun to watch Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. And it's just been one thing after another to watch. And I just haven't got to interview with the vampire. And it's definitely a show that I have to watch after my son goes to bed. Is issue three. Is issue four. And here's issue five. These books are all in excellent condition. I can't believe my eyes, like how well preserved they were. They're a much thicker book. So these books are much easier to like maintain throughout the years and they stay in really good condition because they don't bend and flop over as much. Here is issue six. That is a wicked Badass cover. Pretty scary. Here is issue 7. Did not realize this series was that long. There was this many issues in this series. These comics look great. Here is issue 8. And I can't wait to read this story in comic book format. Here's issue 9. Is issue 10. Is issue 11. And here is issue 12, the final issue. And they're all in great condition, all in great shape. I'm really happy to own that and finally have that in my collection. Um, I can't say that that's something that I've been chasing since I was a kid. And I love the movie. The movie was great. The movie was epic. Interview with the Vampire is one of the best films ever. 
definitely one of the best horror vampire films ever. And it's, it's got to be a top 10, top 20 movie of all time. It was that great, that epic. If you haven't seen Interview with the Vampire, I strongly suggest you go and find that movie right now and watch it. Kill the lights, get some popcorn, sit back, relax, and enjoy it. You're going to love it. It's one of the best movies ever. And it's got some of the biggest names in Hollywood ever, all in one movie. It was just, I can't explain how epic it was to see that movie when it first came out. It, it was just like amazing, like mind blowing. And let's see how much I paid for that set. Okay, it looks like I bought this book around the same time as I did the Indiana Jones comic books. I bought it around September 18th and I paid $35 with $5.99 for shipping. So about $40, 41, maybe $45 with tax. The set is now worth issues 1 through 12. Somebody's got them here right off the bat. $109 for the complete collection, issues 1 through 12. $129 for the complete collection. I would say, try to see if you could talk somebody down to about $50 to $75. And that would still be a good jump on point. Because... I think anything written by Anne Rice is always going to be a classic and it's always going to be highly sought after and there's always going to be somebody wanting those comics. I mean, she's just a part of like literature history and I highly suggest getting these books and jumping on them right now if you can be a great investment for the future because I think in the future, people are still going to want to read those Anne Rice interview with the vampire because that book and that movie are classics. That book is a part of literature history and that movie is definitely a part of cinematic history. It is a classic movie. i never seen so many big time blockbuster actors in one movie. This is starting to look like a great investment. And like I've been preaching throughout my videos, you don't always have to buy just DC and Marvel keys. There's a lot of great indie titles by small indie companies that put out a low print run of their books. Not many people get them. So that means not many people have them. And then when the demand goes up for them due to a television show, it's a low risk investment. So now that initial $35 into this 12 issue series, Anne Rice's Interview with the Vampire, due to the show, now commands an asking price of $109. $129, $175. You get my point. When you hear an indie comic book has been optioned for a movie or a television show, I suggest as soon as you hear that news, jump on eBay, purchase that issue one, purchase that first appearance because it's going to be a low risk investment in an indie book that nobody has heard about. And no one has thought about in the last five to ten years. But the second that comic book gets optioned for a movie or a TV show, it's on everyone's mind. That book will skyrocket. And you're going to make a nifty little profit on that small initial investment. So I highly suggest and recommend always buying any indie comic books. As soon as you get that alert on Key Collector, jump on eBay and make that purchase because those are for sure great low risk investments.